Rashid. Asa. It is 44 years since um, Ghana's first president was overthrown. The cause of our problems in Ghana now is, is the overthrow of, of Kwame Nkrumah in 1966. We, 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 we all can uh, bear witness um, the enormous achievements by Dr. Osajifu, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Um, as it were, he, 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 he had his own challenges. People will talk about imperialism, colonialism, he's, he was autocratic and all that. But uh, as at that time, it, it, it was the only way he could have um, bulldozed his, 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 his way through. If you cast your mind back, um, the construction of the Thermamoto Way, I don't want to mention some sections of, 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 of the then so-called public public figures who were against the construction of Thermamoto Way. Ata, Kwame Kwame's initial idea was to construct Thermamoto Way from, from Thermamoto Kumase. And people were linking that he was doing that because of his girlfriend, blah, 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 blah some irrelevant propaganda attitude of certain group of people in Ghana who who now claim their their father to, to, to our democratic dispensation in Ghana. How unjustified was the coup d'etat? Very unjustifiable. We sold our birthrights. We sold Ghana. We sold all we could have achieved. Uh, over 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 because if you see what Kwame Kwan did within within that short while and you compare to to what we've been, achieve, we've, we've been able to achieve, Let, let's use you. Let's start from 19, 1970 till now. Compare 19, from 1970 till now, and then from maybe 57 to 66. You, 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 you'd be surprised. At that, from 1970, how many universities did, did, were we able to get within that time? How many universities? University of Ghana, UCC, um, the only university in Ghana. Which happens to be Kenya USD. Ata, now let me let me tell Kenya USD something. What is uh, 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 on and off load shedding we are having on, on campus? Do you know Kwame Kumar's dream? I'm sure it's something we should tackle as well because um, yeah, it's, I Ata. wonder why the University of Science and Technology should be having Ata. um. Kwame Kumar had a solution to that problem. But again, we've been told that um there's a sort of a latent load shedding, a load shedding that's not being informed to the people. As in, we've not been told about it. As in, when Ebenezer Sowa gets up here, he'll be giving us details Ata. as to why. Ata. I'm alive, I'm going to, yeah. Even, I don't want to go into that. Kwame Kumar had a, pro a solution to the problem. On the first, the inaugural ceremony of the first chancellor of the university, Kwame Kumar was the first chancellor of this university. He gave, he gave a, he had, before he was even given a, position as a chancellor, he has taught some professors to, 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 to have a research into into um, certain hydroelectric power on campus. You, you see River Wiwi. Kwame Kwame taxed four professors to, to research using River Wiwi as, 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 as to generate hydroelectric uh, power for the street lights and our lecture rooms and our main library. That was Kwame Kwame's vision. And he told the vice chancellor then that that document has been completed. And before 1970, that dam should be in place. If people want to see or people want to, to read this, then they, should, they can go and read Kwame Kwame's fair, his, his speech, his first inaugural speech he gave in Kenya University. It's, 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 it's a matter of public records. I was told to show so library. They have a book written by Samuel Obain. It's there. You should go and check it out. This man has such visions, such brilliant and intelligent visions. But because of certain, uh, uh, let me in quote, parochial interests of certain groups in Ghana, they sold our, our, our birthrights. What, what we, we, would have, we could have done better, or we would have been better than now. We all know. Despite his autocratic nature, he's, he being power drunk, as people say. As, as, no, uh, but you see, people, you see. No, people say people 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 try to say that Kwame Kwame was autocratic. Kwame Kwame was 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 power drunk and all that. Is that not a fact? It was not. It's not true. It's never true. Ata, Ata, let me give you an instance. Ata, hold on, let me give you an instance, and let's see what you would you would have done. Ata, as you are seated there, if Rashid could see Rashid the two takes a stone and throws at you for two times, what will you do? 
Come again. If I take a stone mm -hmm. and I throw at you, I'm sure you're gonna answer the question yourself. Anyway. Atta, if I throw a stone uh -huh. at you for two times and you 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 try to, to you rescue yourself out, what do you do? What what do you think you do? So you, you allow me to throw it for the third time. And um, an dictatorship was in reaction to some of these things. Of course. I, I don't think want to be a dictator. You think it was justified? Justified. You see, those th those days, it's called for it. After they should tell me how many countries after that time were not they, they, they were not running their countries like Kwame was, was doing. Kwame was going to build in uh, Akusumo Dam. What did people say? We don't need electricity for anything. He's wasting our money and all that. He he said I will do it, and he did it, and now we are enjoying this breed down policy that people are people are claiming they 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 they. they, 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 they Put it in place, or they are, they started it. This thing has been on paper since crime commerce time. So what, what are they saying? Atta, all I'm saying is that um, um, he was not a detector. He was doing these things. Atta, he was doing these things for the sake of 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 sake and benefit of the people of Ghana. You see, so 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 I I I I have a problem. When people say that he was a detector, he 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 was blah blah blah. Atta. People 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 people. I've heard people say that he was a great African leader, than a great Ghanaian leader. You know what? Kwame Nkrumah was. I would say he's he was fifty years ahead of Ghana, our gen his, his generation. He was too smart for them. And I tell you that if you get the like someone close to Nkrumah now, we worship him. We would worship him. Within the shortest possible time, he gave us three universities. Three. And the, as it were, we, we've got another private universities, uh, UDS. But as it were, if, if you want to mention universities in Ghana, you can't go beyond this three. You come to electricity. Tell me one thing. That somebody is doing now, or somebody has done that kind of quantity started. It's gonna do a reflection of Nkrumah's vision for mm -hmm. now. No, for now, I know Kwame will be crying in his grave. I know he, he would he would be like, Wow, this is not my Ghana. But those days, Kwame was, 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 was on course with the things he was, was those days. It, he, Ghana, was, well, Ghana was one of the well, most, most powerful nations because people like. Uh, Yugoslav president came here and he said he, he, he was amazed about Ghana's achievements. Okay, I'll get back to you. Um, Rashid, it's your food, and Nkrumah is, but I'm um, Philemon Larry is right in the studios with us. Philemon, I'm um, 44 years down the line since um, Dr. Nkrumah was over through. Yes, Sata, I one thing that comes to mind is the, the a phrase of Obama's speech when he came to address the Ghanaian parliament last year. Obama said that uh, Ghana needs strong institutions and not strong men. And after he said this, so many people agreed that it wasn't as if Obama was the first person to have said it. We have heard it before. But then I don't believe that Ghana needs strong institutions and not strong men. We had a debate not too long ago, Independence Hall, our 50, uh, 50, 54-week anniversary, we had a debate against Unity Hall on the same motion. And I think that uh, Ghana needs a strong man. A strong man in the person of Nkrumah. A strong man that stands for what Nkrumah stood for. A strong man that can fight till the end of the road, as Nkrumah did. So I think uh, 44 years, uh, 44 years down the, the 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 line, I think it's high time we started implementing what Nkrumah really stood for. Because within the short term, uh, short time span that he led Ghana, he was able to propel us into a new phase of development, something un unprecedented in the history of Ghanaian politics. So I think it's high time we really started to, you know, implement what Nkrumah really stood for. And then shift away from this institutions, institution thing. We really need a strong man to lead us out of our woes. Thank you very much. That's coming from Philemon Larry of uh, in our studios of Focus 94.3. Kwame Kwa gave.